Hey guys, what's up? It is November 27th. It's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon, evening, and I am Emery. Today I am responding to Trolls Need Hugs, uh, Harley. I'm digging your channel, by the way, Harley. A lot of respect for you. Harley asked about singing and specifically could you please make a video talking about what areas of your voice have changed have you gained access to deeper notes that have equal clarity do you sing from your chest uh, yeah lots of questions so first off the first question he asked was have you gained access to deeper notes that have equal clarity the answer is yes I don't consider myself a good singer <laughs> I mean, I like to sing, I can carry a tune, and I'm having a lot of fun exploring where my voice is going and how it's changing. And I have noticed that that they do have equal clarity than they did before. So, yes, I guess. Um, do you need to sing from your chest voice only, or do you still have versatility in the placement of the note? I'm not exactly sure what that means. I, I was in choir in middle school. My teacher taught everybody the same way, which was to sing from your diaphragm. I do notice more that it's like, it's not straining, but I am using this more um, to hit the higher notes. And it sounds better when I try to hit the higher notes versatility in the placement I still I think I still have versatility I I mean you really need to use this to sing loudly and I don't often sing loudly like in my singing video my specific singing video about my progression I'm singing loudly and that does take from here but like you know it's kind of a quiet house and um, I'm not often singing in the daytime. And yeah, I'm still a little bit nervous. I don't have 100% like confidence in my voice. And it's still changing for sure. How your throat feels when you sing. Does it feel permanently swollen like a sore throat but painless? <sighs> Does it feel permanently swollen? Um, I guess like here, you know like when you have a cough, it kind of feels tight. Like yeah. But it's not like once your voice is settled and like I think my voice is still changing but it settles for a little bit it doesn't have that squeaky like my voice doesn't crack if I try to go too high I'm a trained vocalist but ironically my worst dysphoria is my voice so I'm scared to sing I'm hoping to be able to have a more masculine voice and still sing still sing confidently there will there was a point in my transition where I was not comfortable singing but after that it just got better in my opinion and I haven't lost the ability to like control my voice at all it just takes training it takes patience it takes persistence in learning if you can sing pre-testosterone, then you'll still be able to sing post-testosterone. Um, I've seen people who are like, oh, like I can't sing now that I'm on testosterone. But I, don't, I just don't have that uh, experience. And also I'm not sure that they could sing before testosterone. Okay, I said I love you, bye. <laughs> Let it go and I can't get through. 
both hands. Now use both hands. Oh no, don't close your eyes. I am writing graffiti on your body. I am drawing the story of how hard we try. How hard we try.